he has one very beautiful young wife and two children of eight nine years age one day they went to royal palace and told that we want to show a very wonderful magic show. play magic show then all the councils of king and queen and others gathered there and they began to see what they are doing oh at once they take took a rope on a, two bamboos did like so and then the lady young lady he took jar on his head one two three colors and he by the rope he he went on the top of the rope rope and he began to dance there with a stick in bamboo in his her hand so wonderful all began to clap and very happy then when she came down then queen gave him no luck her a necklace his price was 9 lakhs rupees at that time very beautiful and costly then when queen gave then two boys sons oh mother give me give me he was telling oh, give me and he was telling quarreling and the lady mother took out of that and they began to both were equal strong then anyone could not take then one took sword from his man man and other also and at a time he cut his head and he had oh then young lady began to be oh my two sons had gone and he she came and took one sword and cut her head oh then musician <coughs> oh without my children and wife how i can be and he also cut <laughs> then whole concept queen and king all they were thinking what terrible thing oh, they began to lament and then they left that place and the place was cleared and they went back to their home uh, palace next day a letter came from whom this letter came that magician he wrote in letter oh my obeisance as to you o king and queen first show we showed and the prize was given by you that we have still and second show what we show you could not have given anything we are all alive <laughs> you should come your necklace is also in the neck of my wife and to boys very well oh they began very wonder hey, what and next day they went there and they saw four were coming with garland to welcome them <laughs> and the okay okay Where is my prize? <laughs> Then king and queen became very happy, and they gave him. If a magician can do like this, and which magician of magician Anadi Ananta, uh, magician by whose my Maya he has created this world, that world, everything, what he cannot do? Oh, also i have seen in mathura <coughs> that a magician came and in our front in that they are by oh he invited dsp sp police commissioner and 
district magistrates and some showmen and very, very uh, rich and other persons there. And he began to show his magic. He took his son and covered it with a cloth and he took a sword and under cloth he put his hand and began to cut the neck of his son and really he, he was separated with her son, head and body and then he told to district magistrate you should take uh, and giving it in a box very strong and you should lock it one lock two lock were there and then he told oh my dear son oh my dear son come on come on come on and he is smiling and running from father outside he came. Coming, father, coming <laughs> and he came how magic also once in Calcutta Bishi Roy or Bian Sarkar, world famous. Uh, he was invited by the governor of Bengal and all high classes of officers were there. Summer was, time was given that at 4 p.m. performance will begin. So at that time all should come. So at just a time before all were seated there and waiting for magician. They saw half an hour passed. One hour passed. He's coming, coming. Oh, when he will come, we will punish him. And become very angry. And that after that, taking betel nut in mouth, smiling, the magician came. Then they become very furious and told, why you become so late? One hour? Oh, I have not become late. You see your watch, watch and they all saw that it is four. <laughs> so a magician can do and greatest magician in the whole world, what he cannot do? So anyone was not killed. There was actually no battle. All were associated with Krishna. Krishna collected them and with all he went to Guruk Vrindavan. Those who were from heavenly planet, they went to. And those who came from Baikuntha, Baikuntha. And those who came from Braja, they came with them. Gaur Prema. <laughs> This Bhagavad, Bhagavad Puran <laughs> oh, explained very well. Hmm. Nothing left in brief. We have told all these things. I am happy that you are hearing patiently. And I think that you must take all instruction and follow or have Krishna Prem your life. Hmm. Now, Nirgun Prabhu may come and those who have helped. <laughs> <laughs> Nanda Gopal Prabhu, are you on that paper? I have to request you. Oh, Prajna, what is it? What's happening? Oh, oh I fall oh. Thank you. Gita, mm. It's my birthday. How can I give you this Five o'clock. How much five o'clock? John Modi, John Modi. I can't come. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Advance as it was, no problem. Oh. Thank you. Uh, my, you uh, should be happy. Bangalam bhao tu, kalyanam bhao tu. Be auspicious your birth. You should be healthy, you happy in this world, turn themselves, and Krishna Bhakti should come. Hey!
Wait uh, two minutes. Where is she? Very brief. Very brief. Maybe I should just do one from memory then. Yeah, this one's not so brief. For you, Gerda. If I offer my heart on a tray of gold, like a flower or lamp, you will accept, I am told, and never return it to follow a dead end road. You will offer my heart to that couple divine, where it can beat to the sound of Sham's flute and the footsteps of gopis dancing around. If I offer my heart on a tray of gold, cast in prayer, will you see a sprout of sincerity there? and water that tiny creeper with words flowing with the praying of divine love, and you're knowing everything I need to feed my soul. I'm lost in the whole of my misdirected mind. Will you find me when I am far from your lotus bud feet? Drop a rope of a hundred and eight beads into the well where I fell, and remind me to clasp hold Dancing fingers, dancing tongue, dancing with you into Vrindavan, following the mystic attraction of his food, feeling Radha's love so pure, final cure of my disease, so intense the blue-hued boy is entranced and mystified, to melt my heart, to cry and cry. Chandraya, Radhikaya, Pradalaya, Krishnaya, Krishna Bhaktaya, Tara Bhaktaya, Namunamaha. <clears throat> First of all, I offer my humble obeisances to Srila Gurudev, all the sannyasis, all devotees, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, and we'd like to thank you for coming and making the 12th annual uh, Badger Festival very wonderful and very special. We've heard very many deep and wonderful things, including just now the story of the magician and how they can do so much magic. But we are seeing a magic that is much greater. This magic is taking the conditioned souls softening their hearts and making them eternally attracted to the, our Supreme Easter Day. This is, I think, the greatest magic. Nobody, nobody can perform this magic except one who is the Supreme Magician, one who has it, one who has come from the spiritual world. So we cannot repay. It is a very wonderful thing. Um, here, uh, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I got a couple pages of devotees who have, have done so much service here and we want to give recognition to them. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get through these two pages and uh, I would like to say uh, if you're, all of you have done by coming, I think everyone has served in so many ways. The sannyasis have preached and given us their association. So. Please bear with me through all this. First, we'd like to give thanks to Srila Gurudev and his party and all sannyasins. And we also have, uh, uh, there are so many uh, services that people have performed. And uh, forgive me if I don't, if you've done and I have not included you. Uh, doing the one of the more surrendered services, of course, is cleaning the toilets and taking out the trash. And uh, Bartha Prabhu and his crew would like to give special <laughs> thanks to them, which, which include Matreya Muni, Jagani Vas, Bora Prana, Devananda, Radha Vinodini, 
can believe persons like this are, who, are, who are, have been very sick and are now doing all these services. It's hard to believe. Uh, Vardamya Dasi, uh, La, what's it? Vardamya Das, uh, Latika, and Hari Motini. Okay. Next we have uh, washing all the dishes. Uh, Mon Mohan from Hawaii. Now, now Tom, Sri Das, Nanda Kishore, Damodar, Sri Loka, Ani Rudha, Gopabalava, Sarada, and Chandra Bhuti. Enormous boga runs like never before. Mahi Bhart, Goloka, Sudarshan, Kamala Kanta. By the way, Kamala Kanta has kept this all these grounds. He's come uh, months early, has taken my place, and he is uh, uh, doing uh, so much wonderful gardens and work before the festival. Special thanks to him. And as Guru Dave has mentioned earlier, the cooks in the kitchen. And I want to inform you that cook, sometimes the kitchen is very hot. The, as you all know, the heat through the tarps. They stand there all through the day. Such a wonderful service, such a surrender. And we want to give special thanks to Man Mohan, Kirtan Maharaj, Damaraj, Ishma, Sudarshan, Pran Govinda, Radhanath, Haripad, Shaima Priya, Anupama, Gopura, Shaimala, Radha Priya, Jai Rishi. And Shravan Kumar? I'm sure. Shravan and Malika. Without Shravan Kumar, anything was not to be done. And the kitchen crew. And the kitchen crew. In the end, Nirgun Prabhu. Oh. I want to tell you something in, in truth. In actuality, I, I, I can't hold a candle to these devotees. They're doing ten times the amount of service I'm doing, and, and it, it's just a wonderful thing. So, in the kitchen crew, Vrindavan Prabhu, Vishaka Didi, Sita Didi, Champatalaka, Gohari, and all who help with the cut up. Servers, uh, Datrai, Kam Kamala Kanka, Rasika. Jaya Dev, Hari Balaba, and Janavi. Uh, the festival setup crew, Gopa Balaba, Kalakanta, Nityananda, Iridari, Prem Pradeep, Madhukar, Damodar, and all the boys from the school. Janava, Radha, Rajendra Nandan, Gopa Nandini, Kishori, Pool Lifeguard, who has sat out in the sun. Uh, like permanently out there. Yeah. Raghunath Prabhu. Kirtaniyas. Kishori Mohan. Raj Mohan. Gopala. Special, special donations for feast. Last night, Raghunath Prabhu donated the feast. And for festival, special donations, Stavya Prabhu from Canada. And uh, Jaga Prabhoka uh, has donated all new tarps this year uh, for Jendra Nandan's family, uh, Nanda Gopal's family, and Mohini Dasi for arranging the combinations for the devotees, Pran Kishore. An Indian restaurant owner from San Francisco. Surendar. Surendar. He is he is uh, going to pay for the entire festival feast. Yes. We're sending them to him. <laughs> uh, 
all the devotees who put on the transcendental plays. Uh, over at the book table, I, I, I didn't mention all the names of Nan, Nanagopal's family, but there's Raga, there's Mohini, and there's Govitki. Thank you so much. The book table, Radha Dasi, Ramkanta Prabhu, Vrindavan and his sisters, Vishwambar Prabhu, Prashadam table, Nitya Manjari, Kishore, Nanda, Madan, and all the Guru Kuru helpers. So we tried our best. And I hope I didn't forget anybody. And, uh, I hope we can have these transcendental festivals year after year. And uh, by Guru's grace, they've still allowed me to come and do some service. And for that, I'm very grateful. Bhante Kapu to this one thing more, <coughs> I am inviting all for Brajamandal Parikrama in October, November. And also I am inviting you all for Naudhi Parikrama in perhaps March. So if no economic anything problem, Otherwise, you should all come, and very good festival like this will be there. And if you have economic problem, then distribute books. Uh, number one, number two, number three, get a free ticket to Karthik. Mahamantra. One more thing. Tomorrow, Breaking fast, Paran will be one minute after eight o'clock in the morning. Up till nine thirty. Between No, no, nine o'clock breaking Paran. Nine oh one or eight oh one? Nine oh one. Breaking fast. Okay. Up to 10.30. Okay. Hare Krishna.